Good evening. Welcome to CBSBaltimore.com, WJZ.com. Take your pick. Anyway, we're at 67 now. 59, it's still warm out there. Even though the front came through, it's kind of breezy. It's taken a while for that cool air to move in. Still 43 in Oakland now. It has cooled down to the west. It's 55 in Cumberland and still 68 over in eastern Annapolis in D.C. It will get chillier tonight as the winds start going back to the north or northwest. Definitely some cool air will start moving into the region. Right now, not all that strong, but it's out of the north. And that's going to drag in cooler and drier air, at least temporarily. The front went through the air this afternoon. It's slowing down, kind of dissipating. Showers in Virginia, we didn't see a drop of rain here. But tomorrow, winds start going back to the east, big high pressure north of us. That means the winds off the ocean, increasing clouds. Probably by afternoon, overcast skies, and yeah, maybe some shower activity. A little bit of rain showing up on our future cast. And again, on Sunday, maybe a shower, although the bulk of the day on Sunday looks to be dry. It's Monday afternoon. Some rain moves through the area with that next cold front. Behind it, it will get chilly again for Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. Kind of chilly, actually below normal. On the bay, east winds gust to 25 knots and a small cap divides you on the bay. And tomorrow, sunrise, 737 sets at 603. The water temperature about 61. Tonight, then clearing. Already seeing that cooler, 44 by morning. Tomorrow, sun, then some clouds. Light rain later on, high around 58 degrees. A big difference from today's 76. 68 clouds on Sunday. Showers likely on Monday, 73, but down to 43, 58, 37, and 53, 33. Just above freezing. Looks like a big, hard freeze Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Probably get rid of some of the bugs that are out there and certainly will kill some of the plants and weeds that you might have out there. And also any tropicals, any of that kind of stuff, you have to worry about that. But it looks like maybe the real end of the growing season for much of the reason on Wednesday night. Have an update look at the forecast coming up late tonight.